All right, guys, we're back here with this FTDX10. Um, I'm absolutely loving this radio. It's this and the 710 are just awesome. Um, so I've spent about the last uh, almost two hours uh, going through and, do, and trying different combinations of settings for TX audio and sideband to yield the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the lowest uh, third order intermodulation distortion that I can possibly uh, squeeze out of this, out of the settings. And by default, you know, what you get out of the box when you first turn it on, uh, the, uh, the intermodulation distortion is actually pretty significant. I was, I was surprised at that, that default settings would yield that out. You know, I, I guess I was thinking that Default would be a pretty clean output, and then you know, as you started changing things like mic gain, I think the default for mic gain is uh, 50, and I guess I figured that you know 50 would be, and you know, AMC at at 50 would yield you you know some pretty decent uh, performance as far as uh, intermodulation suppression, um, but no, not at all. My thinking was that you know if you went from that default to say 50 for the mic gain to 75 or 100 then that's where you start <clears throat> you would start to distort on your output but uh, no not at all default settings do not yield um, decent um, emission and intermodulation distortion at all so so these are the settings that i've found that seem to be the best combination and i'll, sh I'll show you what they are here so we've got mic gain at 20 Mic EQ on or off doesn't seem to really make any difference. Our speech processor level 13 and our AMC level set at 25. And I, I have, uh, I made up a uh, little adapter here so I can go from my uh, Cobra 4 pin on my bench to the uh, Yesu, a little uh, 4 pin to RJ45 adapter. So I'm, I'm generating two tones here at 30 millivolts, non harmonic related. And we'll look at it, uh, its uh, output on the oscilloscope and the spectrum analyzer. And uh, for the spectrum analyzer, we're set at um, uh, 30 kilohertz wide. So we can get a nice good look at uh, our intermodulation distortion. And we'll go ahead and key it up. And we'll look at, let me get out of here. Oh, uh, the other settings that I've changed, forgot to say. Uh, radio settings, the only thing I've really done different is change my bandpass filter output or the bandpass filter setting to 200 uh, to 2800 hertz. Um, again, this is all um, in conjunction with each other to net that lowest third order intermodulation distortion. Now, as far as um, anything to do with um, parametric EQ, I haven't changed um, nothing. So I guess that would be my next step would be to, to mess around with uh, those settings and see. I mean, as far as I'm concerned now, it's just as clean as it's going to get. And I'll show you that here in a, right now. Let me put that back on frequency. And we'll lock that. Okay. So we're going to key up here and we're going to look at our output. All right. So we're keyed up. And you see that. Very nice, very symmetrical looking two-tone two -tone waveform. Beautiful. Taking a lot of work to get to that point. That is not out of the box. And then you look at our uh, third order intermodulation distortion. So right now we're, the, the peak is, or, or our, 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 our peak here is at minus 55, 56 dB. And up here towards the fundamental, or at minus 21 dB. And yes, this is properly attenuated. This is our peak signal is right at this top graticle where we want it to be at. And uh, we got about a 35 dB split there. So that's that's absolutely perfect. Now, what I can do just to show you, just as an example, once I, I uh, kind of go off the reservation as far as these particular settings are concerned, uh, my gain of 20 you might think that's low. It doesn't really change the output power, uh, your output peak power at all. I mean, I can set that mic gain to 20 or I can set it to 100. And it's not going to change the output power uh, as far as the way I'm metering it at all. Um, but it, it's the IMD in the third order is super low. And it, uh, 
it sounds nice. Now, this again, this is all using the stock mic after these settings are, are, are done. Uh, but we'll change this mic gain here to, uh, we'll change it to, let's say, back to the default of 50. And I want you to see what happens to our waveform when we do that. So we're going to key up again here. So we're keyed up. And look at that waveform. Just absolutely falls apart. Mic gain of 50. And then you can see our IMD here is just seriously creeped up. Now it's at 32 dB. And our fundamental up here is at 21. So intermodulation distortion has just gone seriously up. And then here on the other side as well, we'll go peak left. I'm just going to let us hit it. Nope. But you can see where it's come up here on this side as well. Yeah, so that's with the mic gain at the default of 50. So let's go back to our 20. Mic gain is now back at 20. We're going to key up again. And you see that? Just back to that picturesque two-tone waveform there. And nice and low intermodulation distortion. So... Now we'll look at um, mic EQ, like I said, makes no difference on or off as far as our IMD is concerned. Let's go processor level. Let's set that. I think the default on that is 50 as well, if I remember right. Well, we'll set that at 50, and we'll see how that changes our output. So we'll key up again here. Now you see that waveform? Look at that. And you can see the difference in the intermodulation distortion as well. Again, we've kind of fallen apart there. <clears throat> All right, we'll change that back to, what do we have it at? Uh, 13, I think is what I had it at. Yeah, 13. All right. I'm going to key up again and look at the waveform just to make sure I was right. Yep, that's it. Okay, so now we're going to go to AMC, <clears throat> which again, another setting that I thought would be the default setting of 50 would have been... Um, superb as far as IMD, but uh, not really. So here we go. AMD, or I'm sorry, AMC at 50. We're going to key up. And then there's our waveform. You can see the change it's made in the waveform. And then you can see the change in intermodulation distortion. So I'm going to go back again to um, back to what was it, 25? Yeah, I think that's what it was, 25. All right, we're going to go look at our waveform again. Now we're keyed up. Nice waveform. And now we're back to a low amount of emitted third-order IMD there. Okay, so now we'll look at just one more thing, and we'll see the uh, – go back into radio settings here, and we're going to change our bandpass filter back to the – Default setting. Uh, what was it? I'll keep passing it. There we go. 100 to 2900 hertz. And we'll see what kind of a difference that makes here. It looks a little bit slightly different. It's, it seems like the waveform almost looks like it leans slightly to the right that way. Uh, intermodulation distortion is not bad there at default. I like it better. I think it it's better at the 200 to 2800 hertz. We're just narrowing that that band that uh, bandpass filter just slightly, and in my opinion, we're um, kind of uh, eliminating a a little bit more of the chance of harmonics being created that, that create that distortion. So we're just narrowing the bandpass filter just slightly, and I think that. <clears throat> is the best output for the radio from what I've seen so far. So now, all right, so one last look. So you know we got our bandpass filter set, not default, 2 to 2800 hertz. Uh, might gain a 20. Uh, speech processor level of 13, AMC level of 25. Just so you, if you want to try to mimic that on your radio. All right, we'll just take one last look at that with those settings back to the way they are we're keyed up and there we are so yeah i think um 
I think that's how I'm going to run it uh, until I maybe experiment more and uh, maybe find some other setting. You know, this being a software defined radio, there's, you know, there's, this is the alignment, you know, this, this is basically what it is, is, is going through and, and changing settings to try to achieve what, you know, I normally would be doing here on the bench with a tweaking with a screwdriver. So, um, and that's fine. I don't mind that. I just, I just want to get that clean output and I think I've, I've got it. I mean, the radio can definitely do it. Uh, you know, and to be fair, I mean, this, these settings, um, I don't really know what they were, um, you know, the engineers who are, you know, way above my pay grade. I don't know what they were, you know, originally intending. Were, were they assuming that people were going to be using the stock mic with the radio? Were they assuming that they were going to change to some other mic? You know, maybe um, when uh, the average person buys a, a radio is uh, such as this, this FTDX10, you know, the stock mic stays in the, in the box and they change to a different mic. And maybe the general consensus over there was that, you know, this is the type of uh, mic that the, you know, the average user will, will be using and um, in these settings, you know, will work. Uh, these default settings will work best uh, for that particular mic, or maybe they were designing it for the stock mic. I don't know, but you know, I'm not using any mic right now. I'm just injecting two tones at 30 millivolts a piece. And I've found that, um, as far as the radio's output is concerned, these settings seem to be the absolute best and yield the best results as far as, uh, single sideband emission and third order intermodulation distortion so um now I'll, I'll also say that i have not changed anything at all as far as tx audio settings over here the parametric eq have not changed any of these three at all and um at this point i really don't see um any need to experiment with that because uh i think i've found the lowest um possible third order imd uh, settings I'm going to get, but you know, of course, like I've said um, in my previous video, uh, this radio is new to me. This is all just uh, new fun stuff to do, and you know that might change. I might find some other settings that uh, yield better results, but uh, as of right now, it seems that these settings work the best. And you know, I'm a big stickler about uh, third order IMD on sideband radios and. I was really uh, interested and anxious to uh, build up, sit down, finally get the time to sit down and, and build up a little jumper cable here so I could, I could do this. And uh, yeah, so it was, it was fun to sit here and, and tweak settings and, and keep looking at um, the spectrum analyzer and the, and the oscilloscope until I finally found that, that sweet spot. Um, it, I don't know if I changed the, uh, the uh, speech processor. Yeah, I did. I did that. So I, I showed you AMC level process, speech processor level and mic gain, changing any one of those, how it basically just makes your, um, uh, <clears throat> your, your emitted, your, your sideband emission just fall apart as far as far as uh, distortion is concerned. So, um, yeah. So yeah, it, I don't really know. Um, I'm, I, I'm sure there's probably not a whole lot of people out here out there that have you know this type of stuff available to them that they can sit there and experiment and 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 look at things like this and I, I don't really see any other videos on YouTube I see plenty of people talking about settings and saying hey this is the best setting here and this is the best setting there for you know sounding good or you know wh however they phrase it and I mean there's nothing wrong with that I mean heck I mean Everybody is just doing the same thing I am, I guess, from a different aspect. They're looking at um, um, just tweaking settings to get, you know, to get it to be, to be happy with it and, you know, whatever way that might be. Um, this, what I'm doing here, I don't really, or what I've done here and showed you, I, I don't think anybody is really doing um, on YouTube. So I, I thought it'd be helpful to actually see um, how each of these settings affect the, the output, the actual emission. 
So, and now you've seen that, and now I've seen it as, as far as this morning is concerned. This is the first time I've actually uh, uh, integrated the uh, radio here into the bench to actually look at this stuff. So it was pretty interesting to see what default would be, what the default settings yielded, and, and then what I could get it, uh, what I could tweak it and, and change to, to get to a place where I was happy with the uh, third order IMD that was being emitted, which now is very low. So, uh, all right, well, 73s, everybody, and we'll see you next time.